everybody, thanks for joining me here at Rolling Up My Sleeves. I made this pretty cool video of the fish that are in our little lake. Uh, I wanted to see what kind of action we had underneath there. And, uh, you know, I put these cameras within about 10 or 15 feet of the dock, only about three of them. So I really didn't cover very much of the lake, but it gives us a good idea of what's going on in there. And if you look at the screen, you'll see these um, bluegill, and maybe some perch rolling around in there as well. Um, you can just see the one coming in the screen, center screen there right now and then passing off. That's a bluegill. One thing you'll also notice is quite a bit of little white specks um, and a little bit of green down the left corner. It looks like almost some algae rolling through there, but those white specks are actually zooplankton. Uh, you can see them sort of flipping through. They're kind of little things swimming around. And the fish actually feed on those minnows. Uh, crustaceans actually feed on those and it's actually a very good sign for a healthy ecosystem you can see there's actually a perch right at the very bottom of that uh, frame rolling through there but that looks pretty amazing I mean we just dropped that camera in and we get to see these fish and one of the pretty funny things I noticed oh this little guy here is pretty funny the there are a lot of these in there that's a stickleback uh, for a uh, four uh, four pronged four bar stickleback um, not sure what this is left corner please help me out identify that kind of weird looking hydra not quite sure I sped up this little section of film actually no I didn't this is a bass just sort of rolling through a large mouth gives you a pretty good idea what's going on pretty cool watching right and I slowed it down a little bit so you can get a good look at it it you know, honestly, I have no idea how much uh, food should be in the belly of a largemouth bass this time of year. I understand their metabolism slow right down, so, uh, you know, they're not foraging massively at this time. But they will be in the next few months because they're going to have to start getting ready for the spawn, right? And you can see that zooplankton just floating around in there. The water actually looks very clear uh, until you put a camera in front of it. When you put the camera in, you get to see these little things swimming around. And this is the footage that I sped up. This is about, I think, four or eight times the speed uh, normally. You would barely see these moving, but now, since I sped it up, you can see them sort of flipping around in there, swimming across the screen, and they come in various shapes and sizes. And there are also many different types of zooplankton, is my understanding. Um, but a very uh, important part of the food chain when the bluegill and the minnows and uh, the bass have their spawn they all actually survive on these things they eat that it's a very important part of their food chain that's a very healthy looking little stickleback and just a little bluegill rolling through. Very top of the screen, right in the center. You can just see what looks to be a large mouth just taking its time cruising at the ice, at the top of the ice level. And I often wonder if that has any uh, indication as to the oxygen content, you know. Maybe I'll check the oxygen content down lower. I'm told, I understand, that the oxygen content is always better during, uh, near the surface. So, you know, we can sort of do some testing on that to see if that's true. Maybe he likes it up there, she likes it up there just because there's more bait. But this little thing, not quite sure what that is. I don't know if that's a young bass. But just take a, take a look here. I'll freeze frame this just so you can get a bit of a look at it. Is that a bass fry? Not quite sure. Not quite sure. But this is a, a nice sign actually. These are little largemouth fingerlings. You see a little school of them come through. There's probably more, but they're further out. That's pretty nice to see. Like I said, these cameras are all within about 15 feet and I had three cameras set up in a lake that's about god I don't know a thousand feet long 
maybe a little longer. These little sticklebacks are very curious about the camera. And one thing that I would note is that um, most of the activity that you do see on uh, in this footage happens when we roll through and make a lot of noise. Um, tadpole. They're swimming all over the place. I didn't really think tadpoles were that active in the winter. This just shows some of the red uh, red striped dace or red dace, what we call them, uh, that roll through. There's schools of hundreds of these at a time. But most of the activity we see actually comes when we're when we pull up on a ATV or a snowmobile or start walking on the water. Big uh, bass just rolled out from underneath the dock right there. Sorry, left hand bottom of the screen. And this looks like a very well-fed minnow, the very top. I'm not quite sure what kind of minnow that is. It might be another dace. Uh, a little bit of a stripe on it. Could very well be. Lots of stickleback activity in here. This is just a little closer to the shore. A lot of these minnows sort of tend to hang out because it might be a little safer for them. But you know what? Maybe they're not really, they don't really seem too concerned about their prey. Those are all sticklebacks, and then well, you can see a lot of sticklebacks in the in the uh, foreground there. Looks like a giant aquarium. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I've been an ice fisherman for years. I've never really taken a look at it like this. There's a another big bass just sort of cruising along. One of my main goals is to find uh, one bass that we've seen all summer. Well, there's two. We call one uh, big mouth uh, billy bass, and the other one is. Uh, Scarface got a big scar on the top of his head. Just a mass of school of minnows rolling through. Pretty fun to watch. Another big bass. I thought they were a little less active than that. You know, I would have thought, somebody just always told me that fish in the winter just sort of sat on the bottom and conserved energy, but uh, that doesn't make any sense. It makes a little more sense that they go near the top. You'll start to roll into here. Maybe more activity. And, uh, that's it. So I'll be back for more videos. Stand by. I'm going to set up a bunch of cameras and see what else we can see. See if we can find the big milk billy bass. Thanks for joining me here at Rolling Up My Sleeves.